Yo, what's up, fam? This is your boy, Big Rich, right here. And, um, yeah, as you see, um, I'm doing a tutorial on um, the Neptune. Uh, this is a real cool tech, uh, real cool, I mean, real cool um, little device that comes with propeller head record. Unfortunately, you can't use it with Reason 5 by Reason itself. You have to purchase uh, propeller head record with Reason in order to use Neptune. Sorry folks, but it's uh more made for a recording tool than just a uh, music production tool. But once you get record, you can incorporate it with reason. And let me tell you something. You can be a beast, make hooks. Uh if you want to be a female singer, you can make your own little hooks in there and shit. My I mean shit. Lil Wayne, Kanye West, that motherfucker, you heard him? Already. So let's get up into it and let me show you what it's all about. Now, as you're looking at it, it looks like a real cool device, right? It almost looks like a damn compressor or something like that, huh? Nah, but it's actually a, um, it's, yeah, it's like an auto-tune deal. Now, you got your input. You got the low frequency. Really don't know what that does yet, so give me a little time. I'm going to do a tutorial on that. And you got the wide vibrato. Not yet in the live mode. Not yet. I'm still learning, okay? Um but i do know you can change your voice and transpose your voice so uh let's just say we got it on a chromatic scale and i want to bring it down you know what I'm saying i could transpose my voice and i can bring it down just a little bit and i could bring it down just a little bit you know what i'm saying or i could bring it down find adjust it you know what i'm saying uh pretty much what transpose is is pretty much um let's just say we playing in the key of a sharp minor and on my keyboard, um, you know, if you want to transpose that and make it match with a song, you can go ahead and do that. Like this instrumental. Uh, if I didn't know this instrumental, I could play around with the transpose. And let's just say I was singing to the instrumental of, of uh, you know, um, uh, Beyonce. Uh, uh, what Beyonce song? Um, um, Dangerous in Love. You know what I'm saying? I could sing that. If I know the key of Dangerously Love a little bit, I can adjust, you know what I'm saying, the transpose by the semi-tones or by synths, and I can find it. It's that easy, cuz. It's that easy. And once you find the pitch of it and transposition and all of that, you put it on the adjuster, and then you can just sing your little heart out. I'm in love with you, and I can't. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Now, that's the transposition part. I ain't going to get on the picture just yet. Now, the format is pretty cool. It almost makes you be an old scary man or a little puny girl. Now, you see the shift negative and you see the shift positive. Watch this. I'm going to put it down on shift 14, negative 14. Hello, how you doing? My name is uh, Rich. Yeah, and I sound like a... Uh, you know, a 300 pound, you know what I'm saying, heavyweight, you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying? Or you could put it on positive 14, and I sound like a little girl, and, um, you know, I'm about 105, you know what I'm saying, anorexic, I ain't got no meat on my bones or nothing like that, so, you know, it's all good, you know what I'm saying? But you put it back on zero, and it brings you back to your natural voice. Real cool machine, man. Real cool. Now, as you see, you can uh, mix these channels in in between the transposition and the pitch adjust and the voice synth. Now, I really don't know what the voice synth does just yet with the MIDI, you know, to pitch adjust the voice synth and the MIDI input. Uh, I really don't know what that does yet, but like I say, give me it some time and uh, I'm going to learn it, okay? All right. Now, another cool feature is the pitch bend. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over the sequence window. And as you see, uh, if I go back into my rack, you see my voice? You see that right there? I'm coming in. I'm coming in, right? All right. Now, what I did was I uh, I kind of add the Neptune to the audio track, okay? Um, all right. And that's pretty much, you know, you just go there. Just, you know, like if I wanted to add the Neptune on audio too, I just right-click in the black space and uh, click Neptune. It's automatically going to connect to the audio track. All right, that's what I did on audio one, audio track one. All right, now when you go back to sequence window, what you want to do is um, you want to click on the Neptune and uh, create. Uh, it, it's going to say 
uh let's just say okay let's just do this all right now as you see in the sequence window this is just the audio track right all right go back to the rack window right click on the neptune like in a blank space you know what i'm saying with no lyric all right now go to create track for neptune one bam and what it's going to do is going to create a track for you right there that way you can use the keyboard to actually work the neptune function in neptune now you can use your keyboard and as on my midi controller i can bring the pitch down or i can bring the pitch up or i can add vibrato now you have if you know if you know singing you know what vibrato is now you ever have you ever heard whitney houston sing and how she make her voice go in like a yeah 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 type of like a yell yodeling type of like a yeah 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 and then when you see her singing she got her tongue and it's moving like moving inside her mouth that's called vibrato now when you move the modulation wheel up slowly, you're going to hear the vibrato kick in. Now, let me hold out a sustained note. And note, this is a, a, a precaution. I ain't no damn singer. I'm just demonstrating, okay? <clears throat> okay, here we go. Hold the note out and watch the vibrato kick in. Real freaking cool, right? Now, when you bring the modulation wheel up, <laughs> when you bring the modulation wheel up, you can adjust how much vibrato. Now, right now, it's set on 64. If we put it back on, like, 14. I guess that is just how fast you want the vibrato. If you want it real fast, nah, it's not a natural feeling. Uh, 65 would be good. I mean, make you sound like you could actually sing. Now, when you record vocals, guess what? When you record a vocal track, you can go back on the Neptune track and put the vibrato in. Make a singer that can't sing sound good. Oh, yeah, bro. It's off the chain. Now, I have a beat in this session, and the beat is A sharp minor. Now, when you're talking about minor, there's two minors. You got a natural minor and you got a harmonic minor. Listen to the beat. It was natural minor. So what we're going to do is go to scale where it says chromatic. Change that to natural minor. Or if you're working in a beat that has a major, uh, a major, I don't know, major scale, choose major. All right. Now, our root key for this beat is A sharp. When I say A sharp minor, A sharp. So click in the C. Click A sharp, or you can use a little boom, boom, boom. All right. Now, as you see, when you adjust the different root keys, your keyboard little status, that's the notes that's going to be triggered when the auto-tune or the Neptune or the pitch adjuster kicks in, okay? Now, to make the pitch adjustment works, what you're going to do, let me check my time. Okay, cool. What you're going to do is going to press on pitch adjustment, all right? And you're going to see this auto-tune little deal where it's going to move up and down you're going to see the pitch adjustment move all right that's what's making the quote-unquote auto-tune sound okay all right now um this part right here where it says catch zone size you can adjust this all the way down and it's not going to be auto-tune all the way it's almost going to be like a robotic and it's not going to really catch. And it's not going to really catch. Even when you have the correction speed. The correction speed is, you know, you, if you really want that T-Pain effect. Or, you know, you just but you just adjusting the pitch adjustment. You know what I'm saying? How much of the quote-unquote auto-tune sound you want. You dig? All right. Now, but the catch, size, the catch zone size is, you know, how much of the note is going to be triggered or affected now as we adjust it you know that's all the notes going to be affected hell turn that baby up all the way and that's everything so when you sing it when you sing that's just muddy let's bring it back like that right there 
when you sing it, you know, eh, yeah, you know what I'm saying, you get that little T-Pain effect, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, that's a little T-Pain effect for you, now let's play this beat, and I'm going to show you what it's all about, yeah, oh, we're going to adjust the correction speed, yeah, I'm going to give you a little T-Pain. Yeah. Hey, uh, bust a freestyle. I see this fine little mommy walking on the sidewalk. She looking kind of good, yeah. And she waves to me. Hello, hello, wave back, hello. Just like that, man. You can have your own little auto tune. You dig? All right. Now, the cool thing about this is, I'm going to show you something else. All right. Now, I showed you, you can sing like this. You can sound like Big Mo. You know what I'm saying? From the SUC. Or you can sound like Fergie. You know, we got to get it on tonight. We got to get it on tonight. You know what I'm saying? You can do all kinds of things with this thing. You know, oh, let me show you something else. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> All right. Would it be cool if you could just play your notes and adjust your voice? Now, this is the key thing. Pay attention from C to B. On my keyboard, I'm going to press a note. I press C. That was C3. I press a lower octave C. I press a... Higher octave C, I press a lower octave C, I press a higher octave C. Okay, I press a lower octave C, I press the higher octave C key. I press D, I press C, I press E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, E, B, C. And I'm just playing the keyboard, and I'm going down, and I'm just playing the scale, and you know it, man, so... Get off my nuts. You can play the keyboard and sing at the same time. So if I want to sing a D, F, A, A sharp, A sharp. If I want to press a D, then I play F, A sharp, A, A sharp, A, F, D. It don't matter how you sing. You could be off. You If you can't sing worth a lick. You can be all off key. If you press down on a D, it's going to play a D no matter what. If I get high, I, I mean, I can't. I went all the way high. high. When you press high, when you press D, you can be singing at the highest pitch. Whatever key you press on the keyboard is going to play that tone. This is called. Total control over vocals with MIDI and Neptune. If you got any questions, give me an email holler at coxbeats08 at gmail.com. And if you want to hit me up on my Twitter, hit me up on my Twitter at twitter.com slash big rich. And I'm out this piece, and that's Neptune. And remember, you can only use Neptune when you got propeller heads, record, and reason five. You heard me? Na 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 na. Yeah, this is a cool little tune right here, bruh. I feel the music all over me. Man, I'm cold. Somebody give me a Grammy. I'm out this piece. Peace. Ha, ha, ha.